Okay, this is the fourth video in our session on how to set up CAC and smart card authentication. And where we're at now is uh, we have everything set up like it's supposed to be with our uh, trust store keys and our uh, smart card login button here is enabled. And uh, uh, what we need to do next is I'm just going to log in here not using the smart card, but I'm just going to use in uh, login using the admin user and look in the administrator area and the goal is we have in our users area we have this person in here with the login name of PYOO and if we looked at our uh, certificate that we had for our client let's look in here and just check this out uh, certificates here's our certificate our client certificate and if we view this thing and we look at the details of it how this thing works is it looks at the uh, the subject and it looks at the subject of the certificate which is this and then it is supposed to use a first initial last name based on the certificate so the way it does that is it has to look at um, the uh, what do we call it I tran identity tran what is it called let me look here real quick yeah identity transformer okay so what that is, is a JavaScript that uh, when you log in with your, with your certificate I'm going back to my certificate here hopefully uh, the JavaScript uh, parses through this subject and pulls out the first initial last name okay so by default it does use first initial last name and there's a couple different transformers you can pick from but we'll talk about that in a second okay so the goal is we're gonna log in as this person because that's whose certificate it belongs to so we'll just go back to the login screen and where these transformers are uh, is in that comp folder that we talked about earlier and uh, again we're going to go into this transformer templates so there's a couple different transformers in here uh, the 509 JScript um, one it, it, this is the one we're going to use right now uh, there's a couple different ones and you can read about these in the documentation uh, so what we do we'll edit this guy and it kind of talks a little bit about it but what you want to do is copy this whole chunk okay and we are going to put that into our configuration file which we go back to this folder edit this guy and if we scroll down to where we were before for our authenticators there is another uh, section right here for identity transformers so if you were to just search for that you would have found it and we'll paste this transformer in here okay so if we just look at this real quick it's all it is is just JavaScript that um, basically will build a first initial last name um, so one thing I found that's kind of helpful is right here what it does is it only puts this person's name if your logging level is set to trace right now so if, if your logging level is set to trace it will put a entry in the log so what I like to do is just because it's easier um, if you do this log.info uh, it's gonna put this what it's trying to transform into the log okay then uh, if you really want to you can also copy this and I was doing it down here I was putting um, like username username equals username I'll show you where this comes into play here in a second so if you just change this JavaScript a little bit uh, we can kinda debug this a little easier so uh, we have to s save that file okay and again make sure configurator is not running because your changes will get wiped out and then we will restart JBoss 
one more time. Let me pause this. Oh, I want to delete my logs again just because it's easier. Okay, let me pause this while JBoss restarts and we'll come back. Okay, JBoss is now back up and let's try again logging in with our smart card username here, which is this uh, card, and see what happens. Now it's going to go out, try to transform things, and I got logged in, and I'm logged in as PYOO. So if I go look at my log, uh, again this is all on the SSO IDP log, and uh, since we added a couple things to the JavaScript, um, we, because we're in the info uh, section here, we can see that it was transforming uh, this CN. So it pulled that part out of the subject. Uh, and then based on that, the JavaScript parsed through all of this and ended up with this username. So, gosh darn it, if it wasn't, uh, if this username didn't exist, we would have got a, a invalid username or password, things like that, normal stuff. Or you, this may have come back with something that you weren't expecting, uh, like some other, some more characters or something. And so that basically would, would have meant that the JavaScript uh, that we put into that as the transformer uh, needed to be either tweaked a little bit because your CNN comes back a little differently, or something of that nature. Um, so that would be the good troubleshooting steps for that. Um, so if you want, you can go back and set that back to uh, to error for the logging on that transformer, just in case you don't want all these usernames stuck in your log all the time. But um, so that's basically it. That's that's now it's uh, it's now working. Um, and there are other things you can do uh, with the CAC stuff in the configuration guide. It talks about some uh, certificate revocation lists and some other things, but this is the basic uh, gist of it, getting it to work. And uh, hopefully that helps. <laughs>